What's up guys, Mitchell Watts, Town & Country TV, and today we are driving a 2018 F-150 that has been customized by Roush Performance, and today we are gonna talk about how loud is the exhaust system on this truck. So the exhaust system that's found on the 2018 Roush F-150 is going to be available for purchase. If you'd like some more information, you can actually purchase that from our dealership. I'll leave the phone number down in the description and also right there on the screen as well. The exhaust system fits everything from a 2015 to a 2018 and beyond F-150. And we've had a lot of people say, how loud is the exhaust system? What does it sound like? That kind of a thing. And in today's video, we're going to compare what it sounds like with a stock exhaust compared to the Roush exhaust. As you can see behind me, I've got two massive boxes and that's because this Roush F-150 comes with two things that's not pre-installed from their factory. And the first one, the smaller box behind me is going to be the all weather mats from WeatherTech. We're not gonna talk about that in this video. The big box behind me is the complete catback exhaust system that is found by Roush Performance. The same exact exhaust system that you can buy in the parts department and upfit your 5.0. The first thing we're going to do is a cold start to a cold start and then we'll also give you some revs to hear what it sounds like before and after. reference you can probably see we've got the microphone that is hanging as close to my head as possible the reason that I want to point that out and I normally try and hide it is because I want you guys to know where the sound is coming from uh, so that way you can notice that this is as close to my actual head as you can get and so I wanted to let you know what it sounds like as far as drone is concerned and then also full acceleration the first test we're going to try is going to be a 10 mile an hour to a 50 mile an hour full acceleration. And this is what this stock exhaust sounds like when you're cruising around at 40 miles an hour. Now let's do about a half throttle run up to 70 miles an hour. One downside to this exhaust system is it is going to kill your fuel economy. At least it has for me in this little test. And the reason is I can't keep my foot out of the gas. I love the way it sounds so much. It's so loud and so aggressive, just like my personality, <laughs> that I just have a hard time keeping out of the gas pedal. So know that before going into it. The other downside that is actually a legitimate downside is going to be the sound. So as you can hear, I'm driving about 75 miles an hour. Uh, it's in sport mode, so let me put it in normal mode. So even in normal mode, doing 70, 75 miles an hour, the truck does have a little too loud of an exhaust for some people. I'm half deaf, so I, it doesn't bother me. I would be fine with it. But if you're in your car all day long, every day, you might get a little sick of that exhaust. You might want to consider one that's just a click softer than what this Roush is. One option would be our Southern Comforts. They offer a, uh, a Gibson exhaust. Uh, so if you like that idea, let me know and we'll maybe do a video exhaust wise for that exhaust system as well. So just trying to give you guys some unbiased opinions between aftermarket exhaust go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you feel like being awesome, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell notification right next to it so you don't miss any of the videos that we post out on our YouTube channel. And lastly, the most important thing is hit me up on Instagram. I personally check that all the time and it rings right to my cell phone and I'd love to communicate with you guys. 
guys through that way as well. My handle is Mitchell S. Watts, and I'll have it linked down in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, and have a great day.